Hey everyone, this is Avinan from CG Artist Academy and I'm back with a new tutorial and this time I'm going to teach you how to create a floating cloth in Houdini. Okay, so this thing we're going to create. So let's start the process. Okay, first of all, create a geometry node, rename it floating cloth, dive into this node, and here we're going to create a grid. Okay, scale it around 9 and here 0 0.5. And 0 0.4 okay and here in the center attribute x value minus 4.5 okay and here rows should be 5 and column should be 50 okay so next we're gonna create a transform node So here in transform node, in the rotate y, we need 90, okay, and yeah, that's it. After that, we need a UV node, UV unwrap node, which is UV unwrap, okay. So that's it for this thing. Next, we need a sphere on which we'll instance these grid. Okay, so sphere, make it a polygon and highlight this. And now, next we need to create a normal. Normal, okay. And here, instead of vertices, we need to have points, okay. And next, we need this scatter node. Scatter, okay. And here around values around 25 so that's it for this now we need to create a, another node which is copy to points copy to points yes and let's create connect this here and this one here and now you can see that we have generated these grid on the scatter points okay so, so as you can see that if i bypass this the grid geometry is like instancing on the points okay not taking the um, direction of the faces so when i enable it and normals to point so that way you can see that here sorry if i enable okay and let's see here so they are facing to the normals according to the normals okay the, so that's why we did this exercise okay so next we're gonna create a vellum solver vellum solver And also, let's create a uh, vellum cloth. Vellum cloth. Okay. And let's quickly connect this. And in the vellum solver, go to the simulation and force tab. Give the gravity value to minus 5. And let's see how our simulation comes. Okay. So simulation is done and now you can see the, all these grids and the like a cloth is falling down. They are not sticking and it's not coming the way we want to. Okay, so let's do a few changes here. Okay. Create a group node. Okay. 
rename here group name to the pinpoints and whatever name you want okay and select all these place it down and connect this node between copy to points and vellum cloth so here in group node we go here in the base group we disable this and keep in bonding region enable it here we select the sphere and in my case the value is 2.5 2.5 2.5 okay so if, and i see the group it's covering my initial points of these grids okay now go to your vellum cloth okay and here is then option pin to animation okay here so when i'm checking here i'm not getting any group so that i can pin my points here so we did a little mistake here in here in group type we need to select points so now you can see my points are selected so let's again go to the vellum cloth and and here in the pin to animation now we got this pin points okay now again we see how our simulation comes so my simulation is done and you can see the cloth is falling and now it's sticking to the points so one more thing we, we can do is we can connect a sphere into the collision geometry so how are we going to do that okay let's connect here in collision geometry so again let's see how the simulation comes so again simulation is done and now it's colliding with the geometry but still it's not coming the way i want like this not floating. Correct. so let's do that okay what for this we need to do one thing so let's go to the first frame jump into your vellum solver and here we need a pop print pop print okay and let's connect this here and in x minus 10 okay and amplitude should be 5 so should be 7 and you can visualize that okay how much how much noise like if you play these values you can see the impact on these guides okay so let's stick to the five and seven for now and you can enable this guides here from here okay enable disable okay and one more thing in the roughness would be 0 0.6 it's completely depends on you you should play with the value so that you can get the desired look okay so again let's see the simulation how the simulation comes okay so the simulation is done guys and now you can see it's coming the way i showed you in the promotional video okay so this was just a setup you can use this on any geometry like i did in this okay sorry like i did in this you can see it's working the same way but instead of sphere i used uh, i used a shoe geometry okay to generate these these uh, grids or cloth pieces okay so that's how I achieved it's very simple it's very easy so I thought I should sh share this with you guys and definitely some way some around uh, this technique will help you in your daily production things or the test you want to make okay and uh, I hope you like this tutorial guys and if you like please hit the like button and subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and colleagues okay and uh, and I'm very thankful to you guys because you guys because of your support and um, favor towards the channel it may it's making me uh, creating more tutorials so I hope you guys are enjoying or learning from these videos okay so if you guys want more tutorials on topics please let me know in the comment below okay and i'll see you next time take care